And it ain't working. And it ain't working. Damn. Um. All right, give me a moment here. I, one of these days, I got to figure this out. Let's see if it's going to let me do this or not. Okay, let's add a source. Looking for game to capture. How's everybody doing today? I was going to see if I can get this to work. Okay. Doing a little more experimenting here with this thing. How's everybody doing this morning? No, I'm not playing hooky. Um, we're off for a week to because um, of the part shortage going on. And it's not going to find the game to capture you, bugger. Um, I wish I could get this thing to work properly. One of these days I will. I actually got it to work once. And why aren't you finding it, you fish-headed stink bag, you? Oh, wait a minute. It found it. Oh, my goodness gracious. I think the game's on, gang. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is going to work. Let's see how well this does work, if it does. How's everybody doing? I keep asking that. Don't that stink? Sorry if my voice gets a bit louder, but... Anybody hear me out there? Please reply if you do. Okay, I've seen better. I'm literally going off a how many, I don't know, second delay here. Well, unfortunately, it's not moving with my curse. There we go, finally. A little bit of movement. One of these days I'll figure this thing out. Um, okay, what you're looking at right here. <coughs> Sorry, I just ran out of coffee. This is my, one of my mod settlements. This is Fallout 4. Uh, the area you're in now is called Chestnut Hill Station. All right. Let me bring it up on the thing here for you because I'm on a bit of a delay. Now, for you folks familiar with the game, Chestnut Hill Station is just a wee bit so, uh, south. Well, like what a great. I lost all sense of direction. Southwest of Diamond City. And... It's almost due west of the uh, Boston police rationing site. Now, once again, I got to remind you, you, you can only get this one with a mod. And this one, I, you know, I never ever truly finish doing settlements. I always do them piecemeal, a little bit at a time. 
But this one I've been working on for quite a while, and this one I'll probably be working on until, I don't know, the day my computer explodes. But, all right, let's take a look around here real quick if this thing will let me. Oh, great, the game's auto-saving. All right. Okay. Now, I'm up here on the forward guard station. Check this guy out. Oh, man. Yeah. He's wearing full... Well, the chest unit here is robot armor, heavy. I love the way they have these spikes welded on the top. How's it hanging? Okay. He's even got a, uh, this helmet going on here. That chest piece. I love this metal arm construct. Which means if he goes into melee, he's going to tear somebody to pieces. You even got this little blade down here. Turn this way, you weirdo. See that little blade down there comes out on that arm? And this is a heavy combat arm here. And this is a pair of uh, heavy robot leg armors. So this guy is standing up here on this perch over the entrance. Here, let me see if this thing will let me show you. Let's go... We'll enter the city proper here, or, well, settlement. Okay, this is the outer wall, facing west. Oh, yeah, that's my new buddy, Theodore. Now, some of you may remember Vinny. Vinny took off. Um, I don't know. I came back from Far Harbor, and suddenly, pff, Vinny's gone. I don't know if it was a glitch. But took, he took with him a full suit of B-35C heavy power, uh, heavy um, assault armor. Luckily, though, right after I got Theodore, we ran into a group of uh, Brotherhood of Steel guys. I did a little friendly fire accident, and I took the armor off one of them. And that's what uh, Theodore here is wearing now. And he's, don't he just look properly badass? He's got his little Minuteman hat. He's got his tac light. Uh, that's a laser rifle, and he's got the Minuteman logo on his chest. Also, for you folks you know, who are fans of the older Fallouts, you'll recognize he's wearing the Outcast paint pattern, which is something you can put on this armor. So he's got the red and black going on. Of course, you all remember Blue Thunder if you saw the last one. And, of course, Ava changed quite a bit. I finally got around to uh, darkening up her armor. I gave her a Minuteman hat. She's also got, you can see the tack light on there. All right, let's go inside. Okay, this is one of my assault drones. This is a 548. I have not named him yet. Yes, that is a human skull. <laughs> I will warn you now, it, the future is not for the faint of heart. So if combat does erupt, you will see things. That maybe small children should not see, like people getting blowed up. All right. So there's 548. That's his guard post. He's kind of backing up him. You see, I got him set up on a platform over the entrance. Once again, this is Fallout 4, if you can still hear me. Like I said, I'm, I'm really, really, for some reason, it comes out really slow on YouTube. All right, here we go. Now, this right here is I'm still working on. This is kind of like your flea market slash market place. Like over here is your armor guy. Here's your undertaker. This right here is the fish inspection station because, whoa, all right, we're buffering. Let me give a minute for the live feed to catch up. Okay, if you can still hear me, please say, please say something, because I'm winging this thing. Okay, this is the general store. Some basic necessities, some food items, and of course this jerk always leaves the fridge standing wide open. Oh yeah, you'll notice this is in German, and that's because the mod used to create this is now only available in German. So... Okay, let's keep moving. Here's some basic items you might need. Some food, some towels, 
Of course you need the toilet paper. One thing there's a short supply of in the future is a toilet paper. And especially when you crap yourselves, it's good to have it. Okay, are you guys still in the chat box? Please feel free to type. I'm reading it on this screen over here to my left. All right, thank you, Ashley. Like I said, I'm not Oxhorn. I don't have a NASA computer and all that. As a matter of fact, you see, I'm on a delay. Right now, I'm in a totally different area from what I'm looking at on the screen. And I'm sorry it runs a bit slow, but I'm still working the kinks out of this, okay? I figure I'd give you a little overview. Oh, look, there's a nice close-up of Ava. Ain't she cute? She got little freckles. Okay. Now, one thing you can do in this game is you can capture animals, train them. And, all, well, actually, it's a cheater thing because it's that little item right there that does it for you. That keeps the animals calm. It's a beta wave transmitter. And they help guard your settlement. And this settlement has several dogs in it. See, like, there's one of them right here. Oh, there's the other one. Hey, gang, how you doing? Look. Hi, the cute and poor little puppies. Okay, here's another guard stand over here. And this is, uh, he's watching this back wall here because a little ways down that cliff way there, you know, well, sorry, that little ravine, there's a bunch of super mutants who like to come over and say, boom, boom, boom. So. <laughs> I love that somebody tried to do something. I'll read it later. So he's watching out for that. This is six gun. And he's kind of like my fast attack butt kicker. You know, sure. He's a brain in a box. If you can see it up there. He's a robo brain, but that's what he's built for. Okay. This guy's watching the west side entrance and he's wearing heavy combat armor got a little canteen there and of course this is the station and it's kind of like the bar slash recreation facility don't look at her She's just a freaky girl. The kind you don't take home the mother. Okay. Walk inside. This person's sole duty in life is to sweep this floor. This is a job I have assigned. She kind of, This is Cerberus. He's the bartender. Armor thing, but I decided to armor him up a little bit because he helps kind of guard the town now. So... He's kind of a quiet dude. Of course, yeah, he's got some food. He's got some Nuka Cola there for you. He's got you know, beer, wine. And if you one thing I like about Cerberus, he knows to keep the freaking fridge closed. Okay? He doesn't Now how he got this billboard in here, I don't wanna know. I really don't want to know. Did he, like, peel off the roof in the middle of the night and go yank this down off a stand? I don't know how he did it. Don't ask me. It's just there. Don't know if this crane thing works, but it couldn't hurt. You ain't kidding, sister. And she's wearing Talon Company armor. For you people who played Fallout 3, you know who Talon Company is? Well, is well I got to get out of her way, you know. See, look at the better view of Theodore. You see, don't don't he look badass in that armor? Okay. We got a couple of... Uh, the Unstoppables are kind of like the Fallout version of the Avengers. There's a nice little poster there. This is a movie poster for the Fight and Furies last stand at Fort McGee. Oh, great. I'm buffering again. Hang on. It could just be my tablet's running behind. I hope that's what it is. Of course, there's some... Various trophies. Um, deer have two heads. They're called rad stags in the Fallout universe. This is a mutant bear called a Yogwai. 
That's a Meyer Lurk Claw. And in the Fallout universe, the bombs dropped, I believe it was October 22nd of 2077. So that's posters kind of like, that's what it's talking about. You know, the big day, the everything, what the heck. That's a death claw head. Cute poster of a girl there. I don't know what she's doing. I threw a few extra signs up there, you know, make this place look a little more ragged. Um, it's called Nuka-Cola. It's basically the uh, Fallout Universe equivalent of Coca-Cola, but instead of cocaine in it, some of their stuff is radioactive. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying this, Ashley. Like I said, I wish I could do better with the frame rate. Um, but you got to remember, I, I'm not running a NASA system here. Some stools, a couple chairs, make it a little homey. All right. So let's get out of the station. This is a Brahmin, a.k.a. a pack animal. And as you notice, it too has two heads. And this is Doc Weathers. He's a trader. Uh, you can buy chems from him, you know, healing stuff if you want. And who's running that thing? It must be a phantom. This is one of his caravan guards. I like that she's wearing the mercenary face mask with the light up red eyes. I love those things. I I've got a few of my guards wear those. And other stuff. Okay, we got an auto turret set up here. The lace showed me my pride door. Let's go down the back of the mall real quick. Don't don't pay any attention to her. Okay. Kids, you didn't look at that. Okay. And like I said, this one I'm still putting together. He's wearing uh, gunner armor with some other pieces thrown in. This guy is a ghoul. Don't mind him. He's cool. This is the barber chair, and I'm still working on this area. Like I said, I'm, I'm never really done. But the coolest part about this little mall strip is if you go up here, over it, this is kind of like a little apartment complex. Each one of these doors has a single bedroom apartment, and I'm still furnishing these, so right now all they got in them is a bed. In other places, I've already got like little, like, you know, pieces of furniture, things like that in here. They're all pretty much the same at the moment. I, like I said, this is one of my newer settlements. So, what I like is you come all the way back here. Yeah, I had a nice little balcony. With this cool overhead here. But also, what I like is the skylights as you walk down this corridor. I should turn sprint mode off, come to think of that. will probably make it a little easier on you. Okay, we'll walk this slowly. Let's go back down the stairs. Like I said, nice little apartment complex. This is one of the original bunk houses. I'm still working on that. I'm probably going to get rid of this building. The only thing that sucks about this property is they stuck this big lump in here I can't get rid of. And it kind of limits the building capacity. Here's some of the folks over here gardening. You know, build, glow, you know, I like to try to get people, you know, especially my workers into heavy armor as possible. Because that way, you know, they're protected in case of an attack. Also, I like to stick the occasional robot in there with them. So while this guy's gardening with them, he also can help defend the place. And he's basically a Protectron with some modification. This is a 30 here. Some Mute Fruit Tree, some Maters, some Corn. Like I said, not much going on in here. This is my first bunkhouse I put in. Um, 
And I plan on getting rid of this. This one's meant to be temporary, so. That's why I really haven't put much into going, you know, decorating it. Okay, let's head back. If Blue Thunder will let me out the door. Scavenging station. Okay, let's go this way. Hang on. Why is it saying something's wrong with the power? Okay, let's walk this way. That's Sergeant Smith. She came with a mod, uh, the Sector 5 mod. Oh, sorry, Dead Raider. <laughs> I didn't mean you forgot to scrap him. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, slowed down to a walking pace, and I hope that might all let the video feed catch up with me. Okay, there's the butcher station. Here's another doghouse. This is one of the little bungalows where the guys live. Said so I haven't really done much in the decorating these, because sooner or later I'm going to shift all this around, because this is kind of the beginning of it here. That's your uh, botanist station. Sorry. Sewage plant probably got loud. Here's some decon. Sh here's some showers for the end of the day. See, they drain into the floor here. Like everybody's got a bar of soap. Everybody's got a towel. They've got their own fridge, cooking station. Well, that is a working bathroom, working... Got a. Um, hang on, let's see if. The, that's my character, Susan. Everybody wave hi to Susan. I hope I can turn this thing back off. There we go. Down as a stump. <laughs> Move, but. Yeah, he is. Get, get out of the way, BT. We'll walk upstairs. Like I said, this is one of my younger settlements, but sooner or later, what I do is I start getting rid of the bunkhouses. These are the sewage treatment plants, which is all tied into the fusion generator. Okay, now she's out, of course. We sit here and watch long enough. She's going to weigh some fish for us. She's kind of like the fish inspector, you know. Okay, let's see. Yeah, sorry. It's just um, the only way I'm reading the chat right now is through my um, tablet, which I have up here on the side. And I have it. The audio turned down. Okay, that's your workshop for the village. This terminal, these are very useful. Helps you, you know, allocate and assign jobs. But basically, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, this is one of my younger settlements, so it's it's always going to be a work in progress. Look at the poor bee. There's a station to work on your armor, if you want. So all this stuff will probably be moved around sooner or later. But I just wanted to give you all a short tour. This is, you have Chestnut Hill Station. Like, and like I said, this one's bare bones. The one I really want to show you is my... Um, oh, check it out. Hey, come back here. Wait a minute. Ah. I love that armor. This guy's an X1 uh, power armor. With the shark design on it, like the old World War II planes. Love that stuff. He's wearing a Minuteman Reeve outfit. I think she's wearing Talon Company armor as well. Oh, yeah, that's the sweeper lady. That is her. Okay. He's wearing heavy synth armor. Looks like he raided a PVC pipe factory. Uh, yeah, there is fighting in the game, um, but in this game, I've already, you know, finished all the main quests. So every now and then I'll throw a mod in, 
You know, there. trust me, there is fighting in this game. Yeah, thank you for asking, Bo. Just right now, it's kind of a quiet time. Um, this settlement just got raided not too long ago, so... She's wearing a civil defense helmet. I think that's a sturdy chess piece. And of course, she's wearing an iron piece similar to the guard I showed you earlier. Uh, metal armor. Her, I think she's wearing primary leather armor. Never back to Smithy. Don't look at her. She's accomplishing a function that increases the morale of this camp. And we don't discuss it. I'll get demonetized if I do. Uh, so that's in a nutshell. That's Chestnut Hill Station. And this is, you know, looking at it from the other side. Yeah, over there is uh, Boston. Let's see, we got some sandbags that are around here. We're going to take a slow little walk around. I have it walled in, like I said, because there used to be a small picnic area here and Helps keep invaders out who are sneaking in from out, you know, over here by the city. Like I said, I'd show you some fightings, but like I said, I've got to figure out how to sort out the frame rate because combat can be pretty quick in this game. Okay, now warning. Warning. Somebody's asked about combat. Let's see if I can show you some without this thing locking up and going into super buffer mode, okay? So first thing I gotta do is turn the running mode back on. Let's pull me weapon out where you load it. This weapon I got from a mod is called the Fire Lance. Let's see if we can stir up some crap. Uh oh yeah, we're gonna get some crap. All right. See that guy right there? He's a dome. Oh, no. oh mama! That's a bad case of hemorrhoids. Oh, it's one of my supply bots. That's Bandit. Hi, Bandit. Here's another one. That's Blaze. And they kind of take supplies between the settlements. This guy is definitely in it. Okay, he's a Brotherhood of Steel Pallet. Oh! Oh my god, the camouflage armor actually works! I could never get that to work before. Yeah, this guy's in the Brotherhood of Steel. Hi. You're looking for ammunition or weapon mods. Dr. Tegan might have what you need. I can't believe it. The camo finally worked. All right, let's see if we can show you some combat. I hope you can hear some in the background here. Oh. That's a thing. I, uh... All right, there's a brother gang. Why are they running away from combat? Wait a minute. Oh, let him handle it. <laughs> okay, sentry robot. He's a toaster. Cover your ears. Sure enough, yeah, I'm seeing the feed probably locked up because a lot of action going on there. 
like I said, one of these days I'll get a better system or I'll get a better streaming thing and figure this out. That's what's left of that Sentry bot. Yeah, I'm buffering. There's always some nonsense going on downtown, you know. Heck, what was that? Fools! Sadly, that's all you're going to see of the fighting, probably. Because, <laughs> like I said, it really weighs down on the frame rate. Um, see, things are perfectly smooth to me, but the way they're getting to YouTube, it's total crap. Okay, guys, well... I'm going to head on over to the nearest settlement. Yeah, this is... Okay, where the heck am I? I know I'm somewhere in Boston. <laughs> Boston, 2294. Yeah, you can see things are getting voice screwed up on the screen there. Uh, one of these days I'll figure this out. Hey, where am I going? All right, I'm going to sit here for a minute and let you guys get caught up because sadly, like I said, the, the combat makes the stream lag even further. And I don't know if it's YouTube or what's going on here. No, I'm not selling the game. I'm just playing it. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing this because I'm going to get money from anybody. Um, I'm just saying, th this game's been out for years. Uh, Fallout came out like six years ago. Fallout 4. The big thing right now is Fallout 76. I'm going to wait for the... There we go. Stream's caught up now. See, where am I at? Um, oh, there's Vault 81. Okay, let's set sail for calmer waters. Brotherhood of Steel, check out. Murkwater Construction. This is the one I really want to show you one of these days. This is the Lighthouse.
All right, I'm waiting for you guys to get caught up a bit. Like I said, one of these days I'll figure this thing out. Oh, okay, Ashley, now I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm, like I said, this game's been around a while. Um, it's, you know, it's a very unique setting. Um, when you're playing through the main storylines, it's more than just combat. It's more than just, you know, building settlements. It's, um, there's a lot of lore involved. You can read on various computer screens that you find around the city. Kind of scary. It's been 200 something years since the apocalypse. Yet stuff still works. It's kind of freaky. Okay. This is the lighthouse. And this is where I'm going to end this stream at. Said, I'm sorry about how choppy it's coming up on YouTube, gang. But, you know, it really ticks me off as well. Maybe I'll try screen recording some stuff, and maybe I can resolve something then. Because this is the settlement I really want to show you someday. This one, I really worked hard on, so... But I want to show it to you proper where you can actually enjoy it like I do, you know? Okay, so we're going to end this stream here. Okay, now we're back to the main thing here. Okay, we're going to turn the game capture off. Okay, guys, I wanted to thank you for uh, joining me on this. I was hoping I could do a little more. What do you know? Now I've screwed this up. <laughs> okay. Okay, now i got to figure out where I went wrong here. Oh, I turned it off. Okay, that's why. There we go. There I am. Yeah, like I said, I'm still working on this. This is just a little test drive, so... Yeah, I don't know what's going on, because I have a very high-speed cable connection, so I don't know why it's stuttering like that. I guess it could also be my ancient system. When I'm playing the game on the system, I'm not it, it runs perfectly. But when I try to stream it, it seems like it goes choppy. I don't know. One of these days I'll figure it out or I'll just